All right, so it takes a little to do a whole lot of good. Um, I'm sure some of you is wondering what the heck does that mean, so uh, let's get into it. Um, first of all, let me apologize for this obnoxious picture. Uh, my team is the one who made me put this on. Um, if you think this is a natural uh, photo of me uh, you know, gazing to the sky, it's not. Uh, we were in Chile and uh, we uh, were at a project site and we had actually a film crew with us. And uh, they said, you have to look at this guy and we have to take a photo of you. So this is what that looks like. But um, anyways, hi, my name is Borhan. I'm the CEO of Rainforest Connection. We are a nonprofit uh, focused on using acoustic technology and AI to help protect the world's rainforests, uh, but also wildlife. So I'm here today to share my journey with you and the lessons that I've learned along the way. So what does it take to do some good? Well, I want to share five key lessons that I've learned that helped shape my life and my career and how they can help you um, in creating some positive impact in this world. So number one, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. What does that mean? So um, I was born in Lebanon uh, during the Civil War. It was a conflict that killed 120,000 people and displaced over a quarter of the country. My sense of normalcy as a kid was moving between bomb shelters. As you can imagine, for a child, seeing all this killing and going from one bomb shelter to another um, could have been devastating, but that's all I knew. So in a way, those experiences have taught me the importance of resilience and adaptability. And right after high school, I moved from Lebanon to go study in the Bay Area. And there, I worked my way up the ranks at several tech companies in the Bay Area before moving to Dubai in 2014, where I helped start an e-commerce fashion business, out of all things, a fashion business. Obviously, you can see I'm a very fashionable guy, so, you know. But the company actually turned out to be quite successful. We grew the company to over 800 employees and at one point had over $120 million in revenue before we sold it. So it was a very successful company. So, two, passion is the best cause. Now, for me, I think, you know, I started to get tired of optimizing for revenue and for profit and just pleasing investors. In fact, majority of the time that I spent at my last company was trying to go um, enlist, you know, and, and, and solicit for money and trying to get investment money and so on, right? So I really started to get tired of that and tried Got, get tired of optimizing for that. I really wanted to do something different. I wanted to do something that had a greater cause attached to it, something that I could feel proud of. So someone like me, I have no middle ground. For me, it's either all or nothing. So I took all of my passion, all of the energy that I have, and I invested it into the conservation space. And it's something that's been, for the last six years or so, it's been a fulfilling and a humbling experience for me. Um, and that's something that I wouldn't take back for, for the world. So, number three is your career doesn't have to be a straight line. Very much like me, where I started in the for-profit world and uh, you know, focused on, on profits and focused on revenue and moving to the conservation space. It's important to remember that your career doesn't have to be a straight line. In fact, in my current role, it's actually, a few shots of me in a, in a project site. But in, um, in, your, um, in my role, in my current role at the organization, I've learned that w what you need to do is sometimes, you know, you need to get, to get your hands dirty. It's important to get, um, to be on the ground, to connect with people, to understand what it takes to do the work that we do. Um, and to me, that, that, was, that was something very important. It was very important for me to, um, you know, very much understand these things and understand exactly what it takes to do that and understand, um, you know, with our organization being majority of our work happens on the ground and happens with connecting with local indigenous communities or, um, you know, uh, local people that are in need of help um, and, and, and are trying to protect their land. It was very important for me to, to connect with those. And um, so, so that was an important lesson for me an important lesson to pick up a diverse set of skills and let that drive me, let that passion and those experiences drive me. And it's, you know, it's, it's important to not have this straight line career path because 
It's those twists and turns that make your journey worthwhile. That's what it's all about. It's not about having a straight line. So um, that was a very important for, thing for me to, to pick up and learn. Surround yourself, number four, surround yourself with the right people. You are your crew. What does that mean? So the, the, the incredible team that we have at Rainforest Connection, um, you surround yourself with the people that you, you aspire to be, the people that inspire you to grow, the people that you can learn from or you see potential in, right? Or the people that you can connect with and you can, you can learn all kinds of things from. Um, those are the people that you want to surround yourself with. Um, and I think that, you know, with the team that we have at Rainforest Connection, we're able to you know, amass this amazing amount of talent that allows me to learn, allows me to grow, but allows the organization and the impact of the organization to grow as well. So it's very important to surround yourself with the right people because you know, as you're picking up new skills, as you're picking up new experiences, as you're putting around you the right people, it's how you choose to do it's how you choose to do with the, what you choose to do with all these things that's very important. To you. That's very important, right? So um, that was another one for me that was very, uh, very critical. Number five, the little things add up to big things. I know it sounds a little bit cliche, but let me give you an example. So talking about my organization, Rainforest Connection, and how we've scaled this organization. So Rainforest Connection with the support of an incredible team, we grew the organization. You know, as I mentioned, it's a nonprofit organization. We grew it from a prototype to an organization that has projects in over 35 countries. And our eco-acoustic platform called Arbimon, um, it's actually an acronym for what that platform stands for, but uh, Arbimon is an eco-acoustic platform that we make available to the entire world, to all the scientists and researchers in the world, and um, it, at the moment, it has projects from over 70% of the countries in the world. Um, over 3,000 scientists are using it. There's somewhere around 110 million recordings on that platform. Um, by far, I think the largest sound collection of soundscapes in the world, perhaps even in history. Um, and we're adding somewhere around one to two million recordings every single few days. Every few days, we're adding one to two million recordings. Um, and the reason why it's important to collect this data, because I think we're at a monumental time in history where these soundscapes and these, these forests that are around the world, we're only gonna see them once. As the climate changes, as the world is changing right in front of us, it's important to take a snapshot of history because not only we can benefit from it now and we can discover things in it, we also don't know what will happen in the future with the advancements of AI and the advancement of technology. We may end up using this archive very similar to how you take photos to keep you know, your memories and, 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 and the, the, the trips that you've taken and, and all those kind of things. It's very important to maintain an archive, a museum of soundscapes because they're gonna prove not only to be helpful now, but they're gonna prove, prove to be helpful in the near future as well. So, so that's what we did with Rainforest Connection. And that, wasn't, that didn't happen overnight. Right? Like that, that, that wasn't something that all of a sudden it, it popped up and we had this massive platform. That was a combination of a bunch of little things, a bunch of little successes that added, that, that, that combined together to this, you know, to become this, this great impact that we have. And that's a testament at how the little things can add up to big things. So remember, the small amount of things, the combination of these little things can add up to some really great and amazing successes. So as you pick up, as, you, as you're going in your journey and you're picking up these life experiences, you're surrounding yourself with the right people and you're picking up these new skills and, 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 and you're picking up you know, uh, these new talents and so on, Remember, that's what it's about. It's about making these small steps, these small steps that can lead to a bigger impact. I think one of the things that I've seen in my life as I uh, talk to a lot of people and as I've you know, been fortunate enough to mentor quite a few people through my career, whether it was in the for-profit world or the non-profit world, sometimes looking at the big picture is very daunting. It's, it's good to look at the big picture. It's, it's good to dream of it, but it's also good to break it down 
to very tiny pieces. So you can accomplish these pieces, and the combination of these pieces is what makes the big dream come true. And I think that's what it's all about. So before I wrap up today, um, I'd like to take this opportunity to speak with those of you who feel inspired by what we do, by our mission. Um, we're a, a fully remote organization. We have this incredible team of some of the brightest minds from all over the world. Like, believe me, they're much smarter than I am. And uh, our team is diverse and inclusive. Um, in fact, inclusivity or, uh, uh, and, and diversity is very important for us. And majority of our team is actually made up of, of women and minorities. And, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's such an amazing team that sometimes I just sit back and look and I'm at awe at what they do and how they come up with great ideas or how sometimes they drive forward new initiatives. So if anything that I said today uh, struck a chord with you and you feel like you want to be part of our mission and want to be involved in our mission, please feel free to reach out. By, if anything, this is a recruiting opportunity for us. So feel free, do feel free to reach out, and thank you for allowing me to share my story with you.